I'm here with John Brzezink, man who don't need introduction in World of Arm Wrestling, greatest arm wrestler of all time. Thank you. We are in Moldova, Moldova yeah. here. <coughs> we certainly are. What brings you here in Moldova? <coughs> I guess there's an arm wrestling tournament tomorrow, so I'm going to try my best to admit. 2016 when you when you beat... Uh, 2016? 15. 15 when you beat yeah. uh, Devon Lard. I, I thought it's, that's it. You are done? I, I held true to that. I've been yeah. done since then. Yeah. yeah. So, but you are. So, what is this? <laughs> what is this? this, this Tomorrow this we is, will see. This is a curious test to see yeah. if I can actually still arm wrestle without doing anything for the last three years. So we'll yeah. see. But we saw you a few, years, a few months ago in uh, in September in Moldova. You were you were right. Right. fighting had a, against. Had a uh, match with Travis. Travis. It was supposed to be uh, like a little exhibition training match, but it turned out to be a little bit more competitive than that because eh, you know. Did you see you are more ready now than? Yeah, a little bit. I've done you some look bigger. Done, look. done some wrist curls since uh, September. So the yeah. shoulder's still a, a bothersome. I mean, it's really difficult to arm wrestle anymore. You know, to train on the table because the shoulder just bothers me. But yeah. um, what what uh, arm wrestling uh, 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 organizers or or, 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 or uh, arm, uh, world of arm wrestling need to do to bring to get you really back on the table as a, as a serious serious competitor? Well, because of this, I, I, I'm like, I told Cobra that I'm, you know, I start, you know, this is second match, uh, second tournament. I, you know, I was skept skeptical about the first one in September. I was like, ah, oh, come on, Cobra, what? This doesn't make any sense to me. And it, it came true, and then I kind of didn't do anything when I left there, and I got a month, I called about a month and a half ago saying, oh, we're going to have the other one yeah, in December. I'm like, ah, oh, man, okay, oh, you know, I want to be part of it. I, but you know, if, if we are fair, is, is it uh, that you still feel that you need something to prove, that no. you can still show something? Is it money? Is it... Uh, what's the what's, uh, motivation for you? Yeah, I mean, well, arm wrestling's always been the exciting part of my life. And, you know, in, in some respects, I don't miss it. But in other respects, I do miss it. I mean, I've, I've turned into a fat 240-pound beer drinking uh, guy that doesn't really do much of anything. I'm not active at all anymore. Um, and the arm wrestling kept me active, and I, I need to get back to that and you know, force myself. I know it's uncomfortable for me, and I'm not going to be the best that I was in my younger years, but um, it's still enjoyable. It's still fun. I just have to accept the fact that I can't reach the level that I, that I once enjoyed. Yeah. What about tomorrow? You will you will uh, face Belarusian in first round. Uh, what what do you think? You have a good chance to win all class uh, first round. I have no idea where I'm at. I I did some wrist curls. I had uh, Eric Wolf, who is in Arizona, come over on Saturday just to see if I had any mechanics left with you know the arm wrestling. Um, my back pressure felt good. He said my hand felt good, uh, <clears throat> but I was very one dimensional, very limited. I tried hooking with him. The shoulder wound. I tried even, you know, taking advantage of his hand, trying to go to the side. It was very difficult. I mean, I could do it, but uh, so I think my goal for tomorrow would be to just make a couple people really uncomfortable. I think if I can pull them back and get them out of position and maybe hold them there for a while and, and make them uh, maybe sweat and give up, that'd be, I'd, I would think that I'd that's achieve my goal. For, for me, as a to see you on a, you on a table. I always like want, want to remember that you are one of greatest in the world of arm wrestling, and I don't want to see you lose. So, isn't it right. time like you you know when you need to stop and that's it? Or yeah, but or I if, mean, if, you're, if, you're, if, or if yeah, you're enjoying I, it, I guess that's one have one fun. way to approach it. I mean, you just go out on top. But I mean, there's so many arm wrestlers that continue to do it, and then you know they're they're past their prime and they continue to enjoy it and continue to do it so you know why shouldn't I do that also I mean especially when events like this come around I mean it's a, just a great experience beside the arm wrestling you, know. you, you have lost before but you have always yeah, like I know came to, back you yeah. have lost to uh, I know how to lose yeah, Devil Lard, it's easy you came back you beat him you have lost to uh, yeah. Denis Siplinko yeah. you came the, back you beat him the, this time is different this is this is this isn't about desire this is about age and, and you know physical limitations so um, I know I can improve on what you're going to see tomorrow but to be back in the shape that I was in the mid it's know, impossible or I, it's I, without some you know crazy help with the shoulder it, it really to me seems impossible everything else is stable my, my yeah. form my form your, good. your my overall, health health is good. overall overall health is great um, hand feels great arm feels great it's just that that connection to make it you know, stay 
stay tight on my body with the shoulder. If you would get it better with shoulder, maybe... Well, the problem is, you know, you know to get it fixed, the last time I tried to get it fixed, it, okay. it took me out of the sport really for two and a half, three years. I mean, I'm at the age where mm -hmm. do I really try to, you know, fix it again and then really be uncomfortable for the next two, three years? But, it, you know, I think about it all the time because... You know, even away from arm wrestling, it bothers me enough where it's, you know, I should look, I should try to get it fixed. Yeah. Again. You, you, you are, you are uh, not, not maybe so active in sport, but you're still watching what's happening around, what's happening in the world of arm wrestling. I, tr uh, I, I pretty much gave it up a couple years um, after my match with Devin, but uh, Ryan came out to visit and we got to talking and I'm doing this podcast thing now, so I'm trying to be a little bit more interested and, and follow some of the matches, but yeah, I mean, I know, I know a lot of the old timers. I don't know a lot of the, the guys from Europe. I mean, it's, it's been a while since I've been at the Zloty tournament. And, uh, it's you, you, were, you were watching the Zloty tour? I did watch a little bit of it, yeah. 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 Who you're seeing from uh, from USA at the moment has a chance to be the best in the world with right or left arm? Oh, easy, easy answer. Yeah, I mean, Dave Chafee for sure, right, right arm. I mean, he's the best in the United States, right arm. Is he up there? Can can he beat uh, Dennis? Can he beat uh, Levin? I think can he's. He I think he's the best chance right now. I mean, he uh, has done it before. He he's did done it in 2013. He's done it before, he beat right? once uh, right. uh, Dennis Tiplenko. What about right. left arm? Left arm? Our we man, were talking our, just for just... man is Travis, other than, uh, you know, Dave, the last time I think they pulled, uh, Dave gave Travis a hard time, so Dave is, is, coming, Travis. is, is coming along, left-handed too, I mean, I think Dave is still miles away from doing anything with Soplankov left-handed, but, um, yeah. you know, Dave is, uh, is getting stronger left-handed too. Yeah. You, can, you, you have been everywhere in the world of arm wrestling. Can you compare this level between Europe, uh, USA, maybe even Asia, Australia? I th well, I think Europe is is exceeding what we're you know, churning out in the United States. I mean, the United States. I mean, the WAL has been doing some good things, and I think it's become more popular. But I don't see the big big guys coming out. Um, of course, arm wrestling takes three, four years, right, to develop some some real raw talent. Is, is sport growing? Like uh, not not only the sport as overall, but uh, this uh, level of strength, level of, of athletes. Like best of uh, when, when, for example, like uh, you, I don't know, Gary Goodrich, uh, Cobra, Dave Patton. Like uh, when when you were best in nineties, with this uh, this uh, same strength in no days. It's, hard, it's hard to say. Yeah, but there, what do you there, think the difference? It's just a lot more, a lot more depth. I think there's there's. 20 guys, 30 guys now that are Dave Patton, you know, and there's, you know, 30 guys that are Johnny Walkers, so <coughs> they were great and, and they would be very competitive in today's day, but, um, yeah, it's just so a lot, you believe just a lot those, those best in that time still yeah, could be yeah, well, in the top? Well, there, we, we, we've got a few guys that are just, you know, I, I definitely, I, crazy I believe that big. I, I, the definitely super heavyweights, top. yeah, yeah. super heavyweights, of course we had Cleve Dean back then, so yeah. I mean, we had a 600 pounder that was massive and had a huge hand, so, um, Levon, I mean, he's a big dude, and you, you look at him and go, well, okay, well, that's not fair. I mean, he's just born monstrous. <laughs> it doesn't matter how much I work out, I'm not going to be able to overcome that size. But, uh, but no, we had the we had the same type of people. It's always a question: What is the secret of John Brzezink? Is it genetics? Is it hard training? Is it uh, some uh, knowledge, uh, smart? Uh, I think it's just a little everything. Yeah, no, I I was lucky to be born into a family that arm wrestled when I was 13, 14 years old, so um, my dad was decent at it, so I had the genetics to do it, and I started, you know, I was like a Tiger Woods, I started at a really super young age, um, hurt myself very young, so I had uh, that chance to, to strengthen and you rebuild. Break, you break your broke, arm. broke my own arm at yeah, 13 years old, so. Arm wrestling? Arm wrestling. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, um, yeah, just a combination of everything, I think, and the ability to to, to travel and do what I did. You, you were not, that I, in your prime, you were not doing too much uh, gym time or... or I, never, I never liked doing like too that. much in the gym. I wasn't never a weightlifter. I, the interviews I did, can't say I really hated to lift weights, but I was lazy. So I, I, I like uh, just... So you believe good sparring, good table time is... It's, uh, what, it's what worked for me. I mean, I just couldn't really get ever get it super intense with weights. I, I couldn't be aggressive. Um, but on the arm wrestling table, like after getting beat down a little bit. It's only speculations, but a lot of people say that if you would do really good gym training, you could be, be even, even better and even stronger. 
I, and I, I, I've, I've tried I, back way back way back when I did a little bit of weightlifting and the only thing that it really did for me was made me gain weight and look bigger mm -hmm. but um, I, I didn't really see it translate across to the arm muscle table so that's why I kind of dismissed it like well, okay well I'm stronger in other areas maybe I'm a little healthier but I really don't see me beating the guys that I was competing with at the time um, it wasn't any easier for me to, to deal with them. <laughs> you are in sport of arm wrestling more than three decades uh, like yeah. What what year, or, or maybe what time you think John Brezeng was the strongest John Brezeng the world has ever seen? Um, 2006? I think, I think, no, I don't even 2008? Know. I, I think maybe even like 1985. I believe it or not, I wasn't. I didn't have the mus muscles that I did in, in my 30s and 40s, but my, I was so fresh and crisp, and I had this, the, 1985 the, the, the power of speed. You know, you were yeah. 20. 21. 21 at that time? Yeah. I mean, 86 was over the top. 86? I had Arnold, Richard Lucas. Um, I pulled with Scott Norton a little bit during Scott that Norton, period. I yeah. um, was able to beat Johnny Walker pretty handily. I mean, I, I was pretty much pretty had good cushion on the rest of the top field uh, in my early 20s. And um, like I said, I just having that freshness and that speed to be able to just unload and hit people with. with um, as you get older, you just start to develop the little injuries and the legs and pains, and you slow down a little bit. That takes away from the power. So you, so you think that uh, John Brzezink, uh, 20 years old, John Brzezink would beat you today easy? I'd have to be super alert because yeah, he would flash me, you know, and I'd be like, even if, before I could even tighten up. You know, I think even the, you know, the 40-year-old that was super strong, yeah. that um, I, I would, I would be vulnerable to getting beat by the 20-year-old, but just because of that sheer explosiveness. That I, that I once had. Yeah. What, what, what do you think? For, for you, it's not about like globally, but uh, for you, your biggest win in arm wrestling, your biggest, what, what, what's uh, for you is like most rememberable? Uh, you know, I, I always say back, you know, in my early years when I was kind of an unknown, I don't know why I surprised a lot of people, but, um, you know, recent times, you know, I, I, I was really excited about beating Saplinkov just because they, super match against yeah, they, Denis yeah, well, just the Zlati tour, I mean, when I beat him the first time and then the second time, the second time wasn't as good as the first time, the first time we were kind of fresh for fresh and um, all the hype that, that Igor did with him and the, the, his matches with Pushkar and um, I had to, I had Neil pick up, but I have to thank him for uh, oh, this giving me the confidence to yeah. actually even go up there and feel like I had a shot because he got me in the background and was like, dude, you can beat this guy, you can beat this guy. I'm like, no, there's no way that I'm beating this guy. I didn't believe in myself. Yeah, so Neil picked me up and said, no, you get out there and, you know. And when I did it, I was like, what the hell just happened? You know, it surprised me even so. That's very memorable. Yeah, because the first time you met him, you lost, lost against uh, Dennis, no? I don't think so. No. The first time I pulled him was Lottie Tour. Literally Lottie, Lottie Tour. Um, I have to look at, look at the book, but or, or maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. yeah. So you have never lost against Dennis? No, the last the last two Lottie Tours, I think that's, I got that was not serious anymore. Yeah, I was already having shoulder. In fact, I think it was after my shoulder surgery that yeah, I pulled him. I tried to I tried to do something. He doesn't come. I, I actually I actually felt like I got him stretched out a little bit, a little bit on his hand, but then he kind of hit me to the side, and it just it just. <laughs> Just went away. You know, I just couldn't hold on. What about Devon Larratt? You had super match with him 2006 in our wars. Six seven yeah. yeah. 2006 yeah. I think in our wars. Yeah. Yeah. And after that you you beat him Finally 2015. Came back Ten years later, yeah. That, that was important for you. Yeah, that was important for me. Yeah, no, I always had that in my mind that I couldn't quit until I got him the shot. I remember I was there. I, I was watching and and I almost failed. I. I, I they don't, you know, they don't show the, the first match that we had. I beat him fairly easy. Yeah. You know, we he tried to top roll me. I think we, I don't know if we went the straps or not, but he tried to top roll and I just. I think you, he was trying. To, you yeah. No, the, yeah, I beat him pretty easy. I think yeah. I think we went the straps. So I kind of went down a little bit, um, and then of course he beat me. And then, Second one, you were, but, but you were holding. You, you could finish I, him. I couldn't finish him. I mean, it was you right, could, it was you right couldn't. there. I tried, I tried. It was right, it was right there. But I didn't really hit with the. Um, the confidence or it, the aggression that I should have and uh, now I thought I was done because you know how he can drain you and I thought oh man did I just screw that up $20,000 out the window <laughs> and it's I not felt only so a... confident and then I was like what the hell just and happened and it's not only about money it's oh, also about yeah no <laughs> so then I had to had to figure out a way, figure out a way and it actually really surprised me that match also surprised me 
because you know once Devin drains you, you're pretty much I would be drained. But surprisingly enough, I had the hand came back better than his did in the, the third and fourth match. So, what, what, when was your first visit in Europe uh, for arm wrestling? Oh. Uh, 1990 I came to Russia for the gold golden, the golden, golden bear golden bear Moscow. And yeah, I'm not sure if that tournament. was my first experience in Europe probably because you and Alan Carayo or uh, Alan Kareb wasn't around was in 90. Later. Um, yeah 1990 I don't even know no it was oh it was Zauru Zauru was yes my, my Zauru. final match yeah so that's that's yeah, actually he was, he was holding the right? But they were so inexperienced. I mean, they didn't. Know that, that wrestling. time, that time, arm wrestling yeah. in Russia. Yeah, in, it was easy pickings. The Soviet <laughs> Union was, wasn't. Yeah, a lot of strong guys, but not, nobody knew how to arm wrestle. So. But after that, when you came back, after back a few in '94, Zaru was was. Yeah, Alan Alan Carayo tough, later. Tough to handle. Well, I, think, I think that was '98. So that, that was, was already '98. Yeah, Alan, later, young right. Alan Carayo. Right. Yeah, '94, and after that, I think also Eric Gurciani, right. Georgian was '98. Yeah, where are those guys? Yeah, Gurciani is still. Gurciani is still. Uh, we saw him uh, this oh, year yeah. in a, in a, in a, in a world, world championship. championship. Yeah. He's he's not active as arm wrestler. He's a coach. Okay. He's a team member. And then Alan Carayo is in uh, is in Russia. He's he's huge. He was doing sumo. He was oh, doing yeah. I saw how big he some got. Cage, with, some K uh, K1 yeah. fighting. With Gary Goodrich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but not active <laughs> in arm wrestling. One of most talented, uh, I think, athletes right. as well could be. Right. But not so. Uh, we were talking on this on our podcast so the only guy that uh, beat you but you didn't have the chance to beat well, him back yeah alexi <laughs> alexi yeah, there's uh, a couple actually scott yeah. norton i never got a chance to yeah. beat yeah. And, uh, <laughs> alexi is the most known for us and uh, it, it's really bad that he has disqualification because i think igor could make that match and yeah that, i think that, 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 would, that would bring you I, back yeah that, that, that would bring you back you and alexi were again yeah no i don't know yeah, no? he would yeah, that would be that would be bad for he, him. He would kill me. <laughs> but, but if he lost to to, to Tim Bresnan, well, Tim Bresnan would kill me too. Right? Tim Bresnan is not a joke. Yeah, he's no joke. He's, he's no joke. He's no joke. He's a real serious. deal. I mean, to do that to the bio is, is some power. We're just thinking: Would you have motivation? If, if, I if the have motivation. Yeah, I mean, I, but but for I, Alexi, I think, for Alexi. I think the, the the physical part just isn't yeah. going to work out for just, me. I mean, just, just the shoulder. Yeah. Nothing I can do. It though. was it was 2004 when Alexi we would have beat you. 2006, 2007, 2008. John Brzezink of that time would beat Alexi Wojewodzik 2004 because I, I believe so, yeah. I, I believe so, yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah. It was short period when really Alexi was so good. Right. But well, when I pulled Alexi, I, I was when the pulling John crew came around. I mean, I have to give them cr credit for getting there, for yeah. allowing me to arm us another 15 years because I was really retired, not arm wrestling at all. Yeah. The one two years before they showed up at my door, I said, "No, you can't quit now. You, we're going to do this documentary, and da, 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 it's going to be great." And, all right, we'll give it a go, you know. And so I was, I was at the beginning stages of just trying to get back into it. Um, mm. and they, uh, did that slotty. Because because what, what I think, John Brezink of 2004 was one of maybe 10 years before, 10 years after. This was one of the weakest shape of that uh, period, mm -hmm. actually. And then like even before, even after, you you were better. You were much stronger. And uh, this, uh, of course, it's, it's that time, Alex. Said, no question, he was really good. But a uh, few years later, you could uh, you could beat him. I at least like to think that I could have made it a match. I mean, nah. I mean, he, <laughs> Alexi, when he wants to be big and strong, he can be big yeah, and strong. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, that's we true. Know that. yeah. Thank you, John. All right, appreciate it.